Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by for NEO Incorporated's third quarter 2019 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. Today's conference call is being recorded. I will now turn the call over to your host, Ms. Jade Wei, Associate Vice President of Investor Relations of the company. Please go ahead, Jade. Thank you, Edison. Good evening and good morning, everyone. Welcome to NEO's third quarter 2019 earnings conference call. The company's financial and operating results were published in the press release early today and are posted on the company's IR website. On today's call, we have Mr. William Lee, founder, chairman of the board, and chief executive officer, Mr. Stephen Fung, chief financial officer, and Mr. Stanley Chu, VP of Finance. Before we continue, please kindly be re reminded that today's discussion will contain forward-looking statements made under the safe harbor provisions of the U.S. Private Securities Mitigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements involve inherent risks and uncertainties. As such, the company's actual results may be materially different from the views expressed today. Further information regarding risks and uncertainties is included in certain findings of the company with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The company does not assume any obligation to update any forward-looking statements except as required under applicable laws. Please also note that NEO's earnings press release and this conference call include discussions of unaudited GAAP financial information as well as unaudited non-GAAP financial measures. Please refer to NEO's press release which contains a reconsolidation of the unaudited non-GAAP measures to comparable GAAP measures. With that, I will now turn the call over to our CEO, William. William, please go ahead. 大家好,非常感谢各位参加今天的季报电话会议. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining our call today. 在2019年第三季度, 未来一共交付了4799辆 ES8 和 ES8, ES8 和 ES6, 相比第二季度增加了35%. 超出预期最高点9% 我们在10月和11月一共交付了5054辆车 预计Q4的总体的交付量将超过8000台 In the third quarter 2019, we delivered a total of 4,799 ES8 and ES6 vehicles increasing 35% from the second quarter and exceeding the top end of our guidance range by 9% we delivered 5,054 vehicles in October and in November. We estimate that the total delivery of Q4 will reach over 8,000. The 我们的订单量从九月份起仍然不断的增加，这一趋势在第四季度也保持了强劲的势头。订单量的增长主要来源来自于三个关键因素：ES6在产品质量、性能和价格上的竞争优势，用户对未来的大力支持，以及通过未来
在由中国汽车行业最具影响力的一些行业专家评选，未来 ES 六在创新汽车和行业贡献上的成就，荣获轩辕奖的年度汽车的称号。对此，我们感到非常自豪。这也说明了用户和行业对我们的品牌、质量和性能的高度认可。In August, Neo ranked the highest in new vehicle quality among all brands in JD Power's 2019 New Energy Vehicle Experience Index study. In December, our ES6 was selected by the most respected industry experts in the Chinese automotive industry to receive the Xuanyuan Award as Car of the Year for its achievements in innovation, mobility, and industry contribution. This demonstrates the strong recognition of our brand quality and performance by users and industry. If we don't have the support of future users in the future, 我们也不可能取得现在的销售成绩。我们的愿景是通过提供高端的智能电动汽车和极致的用户体验，为用户创造愉悦的生活方式。自成立以来，我们一直致力于创造一个充满活力的用户企业。未来的用户社区在卓越的成长。我们的用户遍及全国两百九十六个城市。二零一九年，百分之四十五的新的订单来自于我们现有用户的推荐。这不仅是未来品牌的独特之处。We would not have achieved our strong sales results without the support from our passionate user community. Our vision has always been to shape a joyful lifestyle by offering premium smart electric vehicles with the best user experience. Since inception, we have been working diligently to build a vibrant user enterprise. News user community is thriving and growing. We now have users in 296 cities across China, and 45% of new orders in 2019 were referred by existing users. It has become one more than just a part of our unique brand identification, but is emerging as an instrumental part of a new development. 事实上，用户企业赋予未来的巨大活力和助力，远远不止口碑传播和推荐。比如，在最近的几个月，很多用户在全国各地自发地打广告推广未来。二零一九年，一千三百多位用户志愿者活跃在 Neo House、Neo Space 车展和活动的现场，介绍亲身的使用体验，让更多的人了解未来。Actually, the vibrancy and the support of our user enterprise. Has been remarkable and reaches far beyond word-of-mouth referrals. As an example, in the recent months, acting on their own accord, our users have launched promotional campaigns around China in support of Neo. In 2019, more than 1,300 user volunteers have dedicated their time voluntarily in Neo House, Neo Space, Auto Show, and event to sharing their first-hand experience. To make more people understand new. 在销售网络扩展方面，到今年年底，我们会在五十二座城市开放四十八个未来空间和二十二个未来中心。通过未来空间，我们以低成本、高效率的方式增加未来在市场上的销售网点，以此推动新订单的增长。这一重要举措让更多的潜在用户能够直观地看到、接触和感受未来的产品。并切实体验未来 ES 八和 ES 六的超凡驾驶表现。更重要的是，潜在用户可以直接将未来的产品性能和智能功能与其他竞品车型进行比较，最终许多用户都会选择购买未来的产品。这也是近几个月销售增长的主要原因之一。将来我们会开设更多的未来空间，继续拓展、继续拓展销售网络的布局。同时，通过在运营过程中积累的数据和经验，提升未来空间的效率。In terms of the sales network expansion, by the end of this year, we will open 48 new spaces and 22 new houses in 52 cities. Through new spaces, we are able to cost-effectively and meaningfully increase the number of sales points in the market, which in turn helps drive new orders. This important initiative allows more potential users to see, touch, and feel our vehicles, and truly enjoy the superior driving experience of our ES 
8 and the ES6 offer. Most importantly, potential users can compare firsthand the performance and the smart features of our vehicles with those of the new competitive models. The favorable comparison result often leads to a new purchase. And this has been a contributing force to the sales gains in recent months. We will continue strengthening our sales network through adding more new spaces to expand our coverage and improving the efficiency of new spaces with more data and experience gained through our operations. Believing Better 七千三百多名未来用户和朋友来到现场。同时，上千万名观众在全国五十五个峰会场和线上观看了New December 28th, we held uh, we held the third New Day under the same Believing Better in Shenzhen. Over 7,300 new users and guests attended. Also, tens of millions of people participated through 55 parallel sessions or online broadcast. New users were deeply involved in the planning, directing, and execution of New Day 2019, showing passion and the rally power that echoed with the new vision to be a user enterprise. Two 云端拥有一千二百多项专利，让用户使用持续升级的电池成为可能，提供真正的battery new day, we also announced a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 20 kilowatt DC power home. All new models can operate to 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, which will significantly increase the range performance of our product line. Since the launch of the 70 kilowatt hour battery pack in 2018, of the same size, our battery capacity has increased by 40%. New makes a continuous investment on power swap technology and owns more than 1,200 patents on the vehicle battery pack, power swap, and cloud. The power swap technology enables users to continuously upgrade the battery and empowers NEO to truly offer battery as a service. As the time goes on, more and more people will recognize the advantages of a NEO's unique and competitive power swap system. ESA六满足了年轻时尚的SUV爱好者对运动外观和性能的要求，百公里加速最快达4.7秒，综合续航最高达615公里。我们还发布了全新ES8，进行了多达185项的产品更新，百公里加速4.9秒，综合续航大大
未来的自动辅助驾驶系统 Neo Pilot 的功能越来越完善，具备拥堵辅助和高速辅助等二十多项功能，为用户提供更轻松、更安全的驾驶体验。目前有近一半的用户开通了 Neo Pilot。十一月四号，我们与 Mobile 宣布达成战略合作，共同打造 Level Four 级别的自动驾驶车型。双方团队已经开始研究如何利用最好、如何最好的利用双方的优势，一起开发新的产品。New Pilot News Advanced Driver Assistance System becomes full-fledged. More than 20 features are now available on New Pilot, including Traffic Jam Pilot and Highway Pilot. It offers a more relaxing and safer driving experience. To date, about half of our users have activated the New Pilot. <coughs> on November 4th, we announced our strategic cooperation with Mobile Eye to develop level four autonomous driving vehicles. Teams from both sides have already started working together to explore the best pathways to leverage our respective strengths to develop the future product together. 同时，我想向大家介绍我们成本控制的相关举措。在第三季度，我们继续执行全面的成本控制，进一步提升运营效率。截至十二月底，我们全球人员规模将低于七千五百人。执行降本措施后，第三季度的销售及管理费用环比减少了百分之十八点一。即使如此，销售团队仍在不断努力，并达成更高的销售成绩。此外，团队的研发更加专注和精益，研发费用环比减少了百分之二十一点三。精细化运营将一直是我们的工作重点。I would like to now give you an update on our cost control measures. During the third quarter, we continued to implement comprehensive cost control measures across the organization to improve operational efficiency. At the end of December, our global headcount will be less than 7,500. As a result of our cost reduction measures, our third quarter SG&A decreased 18.1% compared with the second quarter, even as our sales team is now driving at realizing higher levels of sales. Additionally, our R&D expenses decreased 21.3%. Main operations will continue to be our focus. 最后，欢迎 Stephen 凤伟在十一月十八日成为我们的新任 CFO。Stephen 在财务和运营、股票研究和汽车等领域有丰富的经验和资历。相信他的加入会为公司和我们的股东创造更大的价值。Final, yeah, Finally, I'd like to warmly welcome Mr. Stephen Fung、uh, as our new Chief Financial Officer, effective November 18, 2019. We look forward to working with Stephen and anticipate that his strong financial and operational experience, impressive track record in equity research, and rich automotive backgrounds will create greater value for the company and our shareholders. Now, Stephen will introduce the third quarter of the business activity. With that, Stephen, yeah. I will now turn the call over to Stephen to provide the financial details for the quarter. Stephen, please go ahead. Thank you, William. I will now go over some of our financial results for Q3 2019. To be mindful of the length of this call, I will address financial highlights here and will encourage listeners to refer to our earnings press release, which is posted online for additional details. Our total revenues in Q3 2019 were 1.8 billion RMB, representing an increase of 21.8% from Q2 2019. Our total revenues are made of two parts vehicle sales, and other sales. Vehicle sales in this quarter were 1.7 billion RMB, representing an increase of 22.5% from Q2 2019. The increase in vehicle sales over last quarter was mainly due to the increase in ES6 sales volume, resulting from the expansion of our sales network as we continued adding new spaces and the increased referral rate by our existing users. Other sales in this quarter were 103.4 million RMB, representing an increase of 9.9% from last quarter. 
the increase in other sales was mainly attributed to the sales increase in charging piles, which was in line with improvement of vehicle sales. Cost of sales in this quarter was 2.1 million RMB, representing an increase of 2.3% from last quarter. The increase in cost of sales was mainly due to the increase of sales and offset, but inclusion in Q2 accrued recall costs in relation to the company's voluntary recall of 4,803 new vehicles launched on June 27, 2019. Gross margin this quarter was negative 12.1%, compared with negative 33.4% in last quarter. More specifically, vehicle margins in this quarter was negative 6.8%, compared with active 24.1% in last quarter. And the improved recall margin was mainly due to the recall costs in last quarter as mentioned. Arm expenses in this quarter were 1.0 billion RMB, representing a decrease of 21.3% from last quarter and relatively unchanged compared with Q3 2018. Excluding non-GAAP share-based compensation expenses, R&D expenses were 1.0 billion RMB, representing a decrease of 21.7% from Q2 2019, an increase of 5.9% from Q3 2018. The decrease in R&D expenses over last quarter was primarily attributed to less testing expenses incurred in the third quarter after a year six initial launch in June. As China expenses in this quarter were 1.2 billion RMB, represented a decrease of 18.1% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 30.3% from Q3 2018. Excluding non-GAAP share-based compensation expenses, as China expenses were 1.1 billion RMB, representing a decrease of 17.4% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 15.6% from Q3 2018. The decrease in SGN expenses over last quarter was primarily driven by the company's overall cost-saving measures in marketing and other supporting functions. Lots from operations in this quarter was 2.4 billion RMB represented a decrease of 25.3% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 14.3% from Q3 2018. Excluding share-based compensation expenses, long gap adjusted loss for operations was 2.3 billion RMB, representing a decrease of 25.4% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 1.6% from Q3 2018. Share-based compensation expenses in this quarter were 70.4 million RMB, representing a decrease of 23.6% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 83.7% from Q3 2018. The decrease in share-based compensation expenses over last quarter was primarily due to this part of the share-based compensation expenses that are recognized using the accelerated measure. Our net loss was 2.4 million RMB in Q3 2019, representing a decrease of 23.3% from Q2 2019, and a decrease of 10.3% from Q3 2018. Excluding share-based compensation expenses, adjusted non-GAAP net loss was 2.4 million RMB in Q3 2019, representing a decrease of 23.2% from Q2 2019, <coughs> an increase of 3.1% from Q3 2018. Net loss attributable to NEO's ordinary shareholders in Q3 2019 was 2.6 million RMB, 
represented a decrease of 22.9% from Q2 2019 and a decrease of 73.8% from Q3 2018, excluding share-based compensation expenses and accretion on redeemable and controlling interest to redemption value, adjusted that loss attributable to Leo's share, ordinary shareholders on a long gap basis was 2.5 billion RMB, basic and diluted net loss per ADS in Q3 2019 were both 2.48 RMB, or 35 cents. Extreme share-based compensation expenses and accretion on redeemable long controlling interest to redemption value, long gap adjusted basic and diluted net loss per ADS were both 2.38 RMB, or 33 cents. Our balance of cash and cash equivalent Restrict cash and short-term investment was 2.1 billion RMB as of September 30th, 2019. And now for our business outlook. As William mentioned, for the fourth quarter of 2019, the company expects deliveries to be over 8,000 vehicles, representing an increase of approximately 67% from Q3 2019. The company also expects fourth quarter total revenues to be approximately 2.8 billion RMB. This would represent an increase of approximately 53% from Q3 2019. Before we start the Q&A <coughs> session, we would like to give you an update of our financing project. We have made significant positive progress in this financing project. However, the projects are still ongoing and we are not at liberty to disclose any confidential information at this point. Therefore, during today's call, please understand that we will not be able to disclose any specific information or answer any questions regarding the financing project. We will disclose further information when the project reach a stage that would subject us to a disclosure obligation. I will now turn the call over to the operator to facilitate our Q&A session. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. If you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press the pound or hash key. For the benefit of all participants on today's call, please limit yourself to two questions. And if you have additional questions, please re-enter the queue. Your first question is from Bin Wang from Credit Suisse. Please go ahead. Thank uh, you, Mr. President. 啊，第一个问题呢，就关于融资的。我们上次不是说有两亿美金嘛，所以想知道两亿美金是否已经完成了。同时呢，就是这个有没有在三季报就实现的财务报表里面，是不是只有在四季报才会实现？哈，那我先
90.5 million US dollars were, re were received from William. The rest 9.5 million US dollars are being processed, and the transactions will close soon. Um, perhaps uh, as a reminder, the key CB terms, uh, investors could, be, could, could find them at announcement on September 5th. Uh, let, let me move on to the second question of uh, one being about the sustainability and our cost controlling uh, efforts. Um, yes, you are right. Um, we have done a lot of efforts to, for cost saving. We are in the process of finalizing, finalizing our 2020 budget. We expect the R&D efficiency to significantly improve and the R&D expenses to be further reduced in 2020. We will share more information in our Q4 earnings call. Uh,关于零元的话,我们在今年我们持续的对在效率优化方面,我们确实是进行了一些裁员和组织架构的优化。那我们到这个今年年底的话, 我们的这个人数肯定是在七千五百人以内，啊，当然因为有一些还在这个啊法律的这个手续的过程中，那呃数字其实比这个还是会更少一些。那我们看到这样的一些调整的话，会对明年的包括Q1、包括后续的这样的
uh, because we just share uh, our volume target for Neo Store and Neo Space by end of this year. So, uh, if there is any target uh, for our channels, the expansion for 2020, and what would be more reasonable uh, headcount uh, to support the kind of a sales network? So, the first question I want to ask is, how do we look at the overall 呃，销售的目标，因为我们的 ES 六啊，从呃第四季看，呃三四季的销量非常的呃的强，但是目前看起来明年的竞争也比较激烈。那我们的 EC EC 六 Coupe 也是可能明年下半年才会 launch。那不知道是有什么样的策略，或者怎么样是一个比较理想的一个销量。那第二个问题想请问一下，就是有关于 New Store 啊，跟 New House 跟 New Space。啊，这两个呃，明年呃，整个销售网络的扩张的目标，因为今年刚才也也也讲了我们的今年二零一九年的目标，那明年大概个别的数量大概会达到一个什么样的体量？那我们需要多少的员工来支持这个销售网络的扩张？啊，谢谢管理层。啊，感谢，我来回答一下这个问题。呃，我们呃，其实这几个月九月份开始的话，我们事实上是看到了，在整个市场虽然有挑战，但是我们看到了，呃 ，ES8、ES6， 那都它的订单都是逐步的上涨。那我能说的是，在过去的两个月里边，我们每天的平均的大订的数量是超过一百的，而且是在从最近来看都是在持续的上涨。所以啊、呃，如果大家看这个一些国内的一些媒体报道，就知道啊、呃，我们的展车全部都卖空了啊。我们事实上来讲的话，现在的话，整个的这个订单的趋势是非常非常的好的啊、呃。我们也非常这个高兴能看到这样一个 trend。I would like to take your question. Starting from September, although the market is still quite challenging and soft, but Over order backlog for the ES8 and ES6 has been ramping up. In the past two months, the production orders every day can reach over 100, and this trend has been increasing. If you read the news, you can see that we have already sold all the show cards. So we believe this momentum is going to continue in the future. 那呃，我们其实总体上来看的话。呃，我们的产品的定位应该说还是做得非常的对。那我们看这个市场里面出现了一些变化，就是在过去的这这一个 Q 里边，呃，奥迪的 e 创，还有 EQC， 还有奔驰的 EQC 都发布了中国的这个价格，都开始在中国销售。那呃，如果用户去看的话，那个就能够知道我们产品的呃竞争力是非常非常的强的啊、呃，性价比的优势非常的高。那另外一方面的话呢，呃，我们。事实上 ，E S E S 6的话，在三十万到四十万、三十三四十万的这样的一个中型豪华车的这个市场里边，中型豪华 S U V 的这个市场里边，我们事实上已经进入了所有的车的这样的一个前十名。就和汽油车相比的话，我们已经连续两个月进入了前十名，而且我们相信这个排名还会逐步的提升。那呃，其实如果是从一个消费者的视角来看的话，在三四十万这么一个主流豪华的中型的 SUV 里边，那 ES6 当然毫无疑问是非常合适的一个选择。那我们又加上我们推出来了这换电呐、啊、等等这方面的一系列的这样的一个服务的口碑，那呃事实上也是把我们的需求，这个这个用户就对我们的需求会会非常的这个比我们自己一开始预期的其实要好很多。所以总体上来讲，还是我们产品的和服务的竞争力赢得了用户的口碑啊，还包括我们用户的这个投入和支持。那所以总体上，呃，我们对于 E S X 在明年全年的表现，我们是非常有信心的。如果我们去看北京、上海这样的一些城市的话，事实上我们的市场占有率啊，在所有的三十万以上的中型 S U V 的里面，我们在很多城市都已经在前五名的这么一个位置。那我觉得这个给了我们很大的信心。那 E S E S eight 的话，我们明年四月份就会交付我们的新款。那么呃 E S eight 的话呢，我们新款的续航里程大大提升了，另外还进行了一百八十八处的一个改进。那用我们的这个这个用户的话呢，对这个还是非常期待的。
。那其实这个季度我们老款的现款的 ES8 卖的也都是非常不错的啊。这个我们的库，我们也是已经没有任何的库存，已经都在都在这个这个还是很受欢迎。所以啊，我们对明年全年的 ES8 的这个销量的话也是非常有信心的。如果你看这个细分市场的话，事实上你会发现在。这样的一个细分市场，我们和传统的，比如说 Q7 啊、XC90 啊，和这样的这这个宝马的 X5 啊，像 GLE 啊相比的话，我们还是有非常大的竞争优势的啊。从这个性能啊、智能化程度、服务各方面来讲，那个啊和 Model X 比也有非常大的竞争优势。那 EC6 的话，它是一款非常漂亮的车。那在这一次亮相了以后。那我们现在市场的反响也非常的好，因为我们已经开放这个接受这个呃交易金的意向金的这么一个预定。那么呃数字，当然我今天呃不不就不去说太多了。但是我们从目前的这个反应来看的话，也是非常不错的。但是这款车明年九月份才能交，那当然这个对明年的销量的影响可能不会特别的特别的大。但是啊、呃、总体上来讲，明年我们 ES8、ES6。和 E C six 这三款车在各自的细分市场的表现，我们还是非常有信心的。Although speaking, we believe our product positioning is quite right. Although the market is quite dynamic, in the past quarter we have seen some competitive models. For example, Audi e-tron, Mercedes e Q C. They have released their price and they started to sell cars in the China market. But after the users compare other products together with their products, normally they will buy other products because other product is more competitive compared with those models, especially in other specific market segment that is around 300 to 400 thousand. That is the segment for the year six and the year eight. We believe in this mid-size premium SUV market, we are quite competitive because we are ranking at the top 10. This is uh, including the ICE and EV, and we believe in the future the users will think our year six and year eight are the right choices if they want to buy a car pricing around the 300 to 400 thousand range. With over power swap technologies and over superior services, and we can win the word of mouth in the market. And the order situation is actually much better than our expectation. We think that this great sales result is because of our product competitiveness and of a great service. This can help us to win the reputations in the market. For the next year's sales, we are quite confident about the year six. For example, in Beijing and Shanghai, if you want to buy a car that is mid-size SUV around the 300,000 to 400,000 range, uh, over year six is already ranked at the top five. So that is why we are quite confident this sales momentum is going to continue for the year six. For the year eight, that is the all-new year eight, we will start the delivery uh, around April next year. The all-new EX8 has significantly improved the range, and we have already boosted up to 188 improvements on the all-new EX8. So the user's expectation for the all-new EX8 is actually quite high.、Uh, that is why we believe the new EX8 will also achieve a very good sales performance. Right now, our current EX8 is also doing very good in the market. I think you know that we have already sold all the current ES8, and we have no inventory left. We believe that starting from next year, the sales of the ES8 will also be very good. If you look at the specific market segment, for example, Q5 and the GLE Model X, our performance, intelligence, and the smart features, as well as our service, are more competitive compared with those brands. Right now, we have a release of our EC6. That is the new smart coupe SUV. The feedback is very good from the markets. And right now, I cannot share with you about the specific orders we have received. But the overall situation is actually quite good. We will start the delivery of the EC6 in September next year. 
so the sales of EC6 is not going to significantly impact the overall sales number for the next year. Overall speaking, we are quite confident about the EC6 and the EC6 in their specific market segment respectively. From the sales of the growth strategy, 我们其实呃一直还是从三个方面去看，第一个当然就是呃不断的改进我们的产品和服务，那么第二个的话呢就是呃让用户来为我们这个代言，通过用户的口碑和用户的这个推荐，能够这个更高效的去让更多人了解我们。当然第三个的话就是我们这个销售网络的扩展。In terms of the sales strategy, we focus on three aspects. The first one is to continuously improve the product and the service. The second one is we would like to make sure our users can be our brand ambassador, and we can improve the sales number with using referrals and the word of mouth. The third one is to continuously expand our sales network. 那在 sales network 方面的话，我们看到了 New Space 这样一个呃，这个对于我们销售的促进的作用。啊，当然我们今年 Q4 增加了不少 New Space， 很多是和我们的 Partner 一起来合作的。那我们 New Space 这个呃扩展的话呢，是非常高效率的一种扩展方式。那明年的话，呃，我们在总体上我们的目标是全年的目标是到年底的时候，我们 New House 加上 New Space 一共能够在两百家左右啊。我们现在今今年年底已经是七十家了，那明年我们还会增加不少，主要是对于中国的这个。啊，地级市啊，这方面的一些一些城市的覆盖啊，包括一些这个啊，这个这个经济发达的区域的一些更小的城市的覆盖。那呃、啊，我们已经在这中间去呃、啊、获得很多的经验。我想说的是 ，New Space 扩展其实不会显著的增加，我们不会特别多的增加我们的人员啊。那呃、啊，我们的 New Space 的话，有很多有 Partner 的合作。那我们虽然也有人在现场，但我们和这个总体上的效率是非常高的，所以呃，在这方面的扩展不会特别显著的增加我们的员工。那我们现在的车已经在两百九十六个城市有我们的用户，我们加上这样一个渠呃这种渠道的扩展，我们相信明年的总体的销量的这个支持的基础还是非常的高的。In terms of the sales network, the new space will significantly help with our sales numbers for the future. Right now, we have been working with our new space partners to set up the new spaces and improve the coverage of our sales points. The model of the new space is quite efficient. We believe. By the end of the next year, we should be able to have around 200 new houses and new spaces altogether. Because at the end of this year, we have already got over 70 new houses and new spaces combined. With the increased amount of the new spaces, we can cover the tier two and the tier three cities and other remote places. We have already accumulated many experiences in terms of the new space operations. So we think that this is not going to significantly affect our headcount because we will heavily rely on the partners to work together with us. Although we will have our own people on site to support our partners in the new spaces. Right now, we have users in 296 cities. With the channel expansions, we believe our sales for the next year is going to be very solid. Thank you. Thank you. 
around 70 uh, new spaces, right? And that would mean that would mean uh, about 40 vehicles will be sold per, per store uh, per month in the first quarter. Um, is this consistent? Does that mean that for uh, 200 new spaces next year, they'll be able to deliver uh, 8,000 vehicles per month? Thank you. I, I will translate my question. Um, so William and Steve is in. Um 我们现在如果有七十几家new 为什么从9月份开始我们的订单销售有限度增长 那么去成功的建立了我们自己的品牌，那我觉得这个还是比较成功的做了这样一点。那我们最近呃看这个，在这个呃主流高端的这样一些品牌，他们也推出了他们的一些电动车的产品。你像去年这个捷豹推出它的
，过去的几个月，其实这个市场对 NIO 有非常多的担心，对吧？那呃，在这样的一个情况下的话，我们还能有这样的一个销售的成绩的话，那其实也是充分说明了我们产品服务，还有这个用户口碑这方面的竞争力，还有我们整个团队的执行力。所以我们从现在来讲，我们还是非常有信心的去说，那么这个销量的增长和销售的趋势，我们是这个有信心去这个去去维持的，或者说进一步的拓展的。那从明年的一个竞争版图的角度来讲的话，呃，至少我并没有看到有特别有竞争力的产品出来。从一个奔驰、宝马、奥迪啊，包括 Tesla 的角度来讲。特斯拉 Model 三的这个国产，我想也被很多消费者去消化掉了。那毕竟 Model 三和我们 E S X， 它完全不是，虽然价位差不太多，但是我们的车我相信是更有竞争力的。这个而且也不是同样的一个产品的这个细分市场，所以总体上我们还是非常有信心。I think there is a very important trend we should pay attention to. Starting from the second quarter of this year, the EV sales has declined because of the subsidy reduction. Uh, this happens to those commercial vehicles and the lower-end EVs. But for the Tesla and Neo and other brands focusing on the consumer market, our sales momentum is actually quite good. We believe that the users are quite educated. About EVs and ICEs, and for those users, they prefer EVs. That is why we believe we should have a reasonable share for the mid and the large size <coughs> SUV segment. That is around the 300,000 to 400,000 market segment. That segment should have around well, around 1 million um, units volumes in terms of the sales. And in the last months, I understand that there are many concerns about the NIO's operation. But you can see NIO is developing in a very healthy way, and this is mainly because of our product competitiveness and the word of mouth from our users and the strong execution from our teams. That is why we are quite confident about our future sales, and we believe we can keep and even increase this momentum in the future. Next year, in terms of the competition landscape, I don't actually see any very competitive products from BMW, Audi, Mercedes, and Tesla. Right now, people are now getting familiar with the Tesla Model 3 made in China, and if you compare the Model 3 with other products, we believe our product is still very competitive, and we don't actually belong to the same segment with the Tesla Model 3. 对，那个呃，在你刚才说的那个 Neo Space 和 Neo House 的这个平均每个店去算，呃，还不能简单这么去算了。我们当然现在其实我们呃前面说了百分之四十五的用户事实上是这个呃新的用户是我们原有的用户推荐的啊，所以这个怎么衡量这个渠道的作用，我们其实可能还要更加的更加的这个细致的去看。但是我们现在看的话呢，确确实实。呃 ，New Space 对于促进销量肯定是有作用的，特别是一些我们以前根本就没有 New House 的地方，那个这个作用是非常大的。那啊、呃，我们当然呃没法去说一个 New Space 对应到底对应多少这个销量。我们今天还在看，因为我们大部分的 New Space 其实是在今年的 Q4 才开始，我们可能需要在有一段时间的运营的这样的一个数据出来了以后，我们能够知道更清楚一些。但是不管怎么样的话，中国的市场是非常非常大的。那很多地方的用户他可能从来就没有看到过 Neo 啊，那甚至于都没看到过电动汽车。那我们通过这个呃区域的这样的一个扩展，那呃通过我们的这样一个 Neo Space 的这样一个扩展，让更多人能接触我们。他不管怎么样，他对我们的这个销量促进肯定是会有的。那呃我们呃会有有更多的更细致的。这样的一些运营数据的经验，这个经验数据出来以后，会跟大家做一些更细的交流。Just now you mentioned about the sales per store or the sales for the new space and the new houses. <coughs> we think we cannot simply evaluate the effect of the new spaces and new houses by 
saying how many sales we can achieve in one store. Because I have mentioned that 45% of the new orders are actually coming from our existing users. The new space should be quite good for our sales improvement, especially for those places without the new houses. But we cannot simply evaluate the number of the sales in those new spaces by doing this kind of calculation, because for most of the new spaces that we opened in the fourth quarter, so it means that we need to accumulate more data to understand the effectiveness of the new spaces. In, uh, in terms of the China market, actually, is uh, quite thick. So for a lot of uh, users, they may have never seen a new product or EVs in the past. So that is why we think a new space should be quite good for us uh, to promote our products in those places, and people can actually touch and feel our products. But after we accumulate more data and experience in terms of the new space operation, we can share more information with you. Thank you. Thank you. Your next question is from Fei Fang from Goldman Sachs. Your line is open. Hi, um, William uh, Feng Zhong. Thanks for the opportunity. In your 8,000 volume guidance, uh, how many ESA do we have for December? And also moving into 2020, how do we think about the normalized run rate for uh, ES8? Second question is on battery price. Uh, what's the outlook? And thirdly, uh, if you can comment on the cash outflow, uh, say, is there a, a, a quarterly outflow target that the CEO and the CFO is trying to manage in the business towards? Say, two billion outflow per quarter, or three billion beyond which you will think harder about cutting more costs. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Bueno,不用,没事啊。我们这个 和 Q3 相比的话，它的这个demand也非常显著的提升回来了。那明年的话呢，呃，因为ESA会有四月份开始交付新款，所以我们相信它会回到一个非常有竞争力的这样的一个啊水平。所以啊，这是目前大概的一个Q4的一
savings. Second, financing. Third, uh, various junk sales. Thank you. That, that, that's great. Thank you. We have our next question from Paul Gong from UBS. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for taking my question. Uh, I have two questions. Um, the first one is uh, based on the current um, uh, price environment, uh, at what um, quarterly delivery level do you expect uh, to have a positive uh, uh, gross margin on vehicle sales? Uh, and my second question is just to double check, uh, does the balance sheet by end of September already reflected the Tencent 200 million uh, US dollar CB uh, in it? Because uh, I, I, I compared the uh, balance sheet of uh, Q2 and Q3, uh, I didn't see really an uh, increase, significant increase of uh, long-term liabilities or long-term borrowings, but uh, the cash level still declined. I uh, just want to double check that the end of September balance sheet already reflected the uh, issuance of uh, the 200 million um, uh, uh, CB. I find it out. The first question is, in the current environment, we think uh, that in a year, we can uh, achieve the margin of the car sales on the basis of the net profit. The second question is, in the current environment, we think that in a year, we can achieve 呃，这腾讯这里这两亿美金的这个 C B 嘛，因为看这个长期负债这一栏的话，跟二季度相比，并没有一个明显的一个增加。就想看看它这个是在九月底的这个资产负债表上面已经体现了，还是要到那个十二月的这才能体现？谢谢。好，感谢这个毛利的提升是我们二零二零年非常重要的一个工作。当然，我们从销量。啊，那么从我们的这个啊产品的组合、这个定价、产品组合，以及这个啊我们的这个啊这个有一些 boom 的这个持续的下降，对吧？这主要是电池吧，这方面的持续下降。那么这三个方面的改改变的话呢，那对我们的这个毛利的改进呢是持续的。那我们是按照我们目前的一个。这三个方面的一个展望的话，我们明年全年的毛利转正啊，那我们认为是完全有信心能做到的啊，全年的毛利转正。当然，这个呃、啊、每个 Q 到底哪一个什么时候哪一个月做到，我们当然也希望它早一点来，但是我们还需要一些这个综合去看，包括不还不完全是销量，也包括电池的成本的下降，也包括这个。我们有一些管理效率的提升，但是我能很肯定的说，就是明年整个整车的毛利全年转正这件事情，我们是非常有信心能做到的。Thanks for your question. In terms of、uh, the growth margin, this has always been of an important task for 2020. We need to consider this from three aspects. The first one is sales and the pricing. The second one is.、Uh, About the bomb cost reduction, especially the battery cost, and the next one is about our product portfolio. By focusing on those three aspects, we can take some measures to improve the gross margin. We think for the next year, we should be able to achieve a positive gross margin for the whole year. But if you ask about the specific quarter or the specific months, we are not really sure at this moment because we need to. Consider this comprehensively regarding the sales and the battery cost reduction, the bond cost reduction, and the efficiency improvement. Oh, Nigel, come with me. Okay, and Paul, thanks for your question.、Um, in terms of the 100 million US dollar CB from Tencent,、um, if you review our announcement on September 5th, actually、um, it has two tranches. First,、uh, 100 US million US dollar for 360 days, so it's a short-term borrowing. So we book 15 million US dollar in our short-term borrowings, and also the other 50 million US dollar is a three-year CB. So we book that 15 million US dollar in our long-term borrowings. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Thank you. 
We don't have any other questions as of the moment. Presenters, please continue. So I thank you everyone for attending our conference call this quarter, and we look forward to seeing you and uh, hearing and from you next quarter. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you everyone. 新年快乐. Ladies and gentlemen, that does conclude our call for today. Thank you for participating. You may all disconnect.